Welcome to the NTN Nightly. I'm Nisha Charles. This edition Stop Stories. Foundation works begin at the St. Jude's Hospital reconstruction site. The government of St. Lucia provides more tax relief to the business sector. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force receives a $30,000 donation from the Department of External Affairs and the NTN Nouvelle Arqueo. The government of St. Lucia is pressing ahead with plans for an improved health sector. The St. Jude's Hospital reconstruction project is well on the way, with over 300 tons of steel being prepared and laid for the foundation of the project. Approximately 60 construction workers are currently employed on the site, and this number will increase significantly as work progresses. At the Owen King EU Hospital, a sustainable management structure is being sought as the transition in from the Victoria Hospital continues. Janelle Norville has the details. Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Chastney speaking in the House of Assembly on Tuesday indicated that healthcare remains a top priority for the government. The government, he noted, has invested significant sums of money into the health sector and is working assiduously to get major health institutions on Ireland fully operational. That is why last year we spent five and a half million dollars as a government in supporting families in need for health care. That is why getting the St. Jude's up and running and opening, that we've improved the quality of the facility at the uh, stadium. That is why we're now improving and have improved the facilities in the primary health care services. And that is why we're going to have a massive training program, but more importantly, that we're going to introduce a health care insurance, a card in which people now, when they are sick, they can go to the doctor. And the benefit, and the benefit to the state is that we will, for the first time, have a state of health of our country. We will know who has high blood pressure, who has that, who's pre-diabetic, and start capturing and addressing those problems before they become crisis. But more importantly, that we'll now have programs to be able to benefit those people, and we have the empirical evidence, Mr. Speaker, to show whether in fact that we're making a dent in our problems. According to Director of Implementation Nancy Charles, the government is striving to have a structure that will ensure the sustainability and continuity of the Owen King EU Hospital. A proper governing structure would ensure accountability, transparency and maintenance of the hospital. The ability to fund the hospital according to the Director of Implementation also plays a critical role in the government's plans. However, she explained that efforts towards the transition into the Owen King EU Hospital are continuing. We are currently working on the National Health Insurance, so the Ministry of Finance together with um, CDB and World Bank, they've started a project in looking at how we can incorporate, if not a full, but a partial National Health Insurance. And with reference to the management structure, the government has been in negotiation with Cayman Health City for a consultancy service to assist us in putting a proper management structure at OKEU. So you have been hearing a lot that we want to privatize the hospital and give Cayman Health City the hospital to run and so forth. None of that is the case. We have asked for or we are negotiating a consultancy contract. And by that, I mean they will be bringing in professionals and persons because they have the worry fall and they know how to put in certain structures for hospital management and ensuring continuity. They will be assisting us with our local St. Lucians who would be hired for the job teach them, train them, so that they can eventually manage the hospital on their own. As it relates to the St. Jude Hospital, Charles explained that there were several issues with the existing structure. The condition did not allow for a proper health facility of international standards, and so the government is taking the necessary steps to improve the facility. Some of the structures, including the kitchen, the emergency unit, the warehouse and administrative center, to name a few, require some rehabilitation work. I am pleased to say that we have started the process of the new wing of the St. Jude's Hospital. So let me remind you what is it that is happening at St. Jude's. Some of the existing structure at St. Jude's is not fit for use. So for example, the unit that was dedicated for dialysis, it was an existing unit. There are cracks in the building, the building is unsafe, and so we cannot use that building for dialysis. 
it means we have to build a new structure to house the dialysis unit and also the main structure for the operations of the hospital your operating room outpatient and so forth this facility also was not in keeping with the international standards for a hospital and so we now have to build a new wing for that facility as well so construction for the new wing of the operating and operational center for St. Jude's Hospital has begun. Um, I can safely say that right now we have begun excavation and we are preparing for the foundation and for the building of the structure. The government of St. Lucia assures the public that no effort is being spared in ensuring the health facilities on island meet international standards and are fully operational. For the Government Information Service, I am General Norville. The government of St. Lucia continues to provide tax relief to the business sector, this time targeting local manufacturers. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shastney moved a motion in the House of Assembly on Tuesday, October 29th for an amendment to the Value Added Tax Act to zero rate the service of printing. The amendment also stipulated a definition for educational supplies. Honorable Shastney explained the reasoning for the amendment. Educational supplies, as defined under the Value Added Tax Act 15.42, including newspapers, trade catalogs and advertising matter, magazines and books and patterns and samples with no commercial value, are treated as exempt supplies under the second schedule of the VAT Act. When those same items are, however, produced or printed locally for a third party, the production or printing thereof is treated as a service and subjected to the standard rate of that. So it means that we have manufacturers, Mr. Speaker, who by virtue of the existing legislation are prejudiced in their own country. The fact is that those items now can be imported and have no VAT on them, yet if in fact that those items are now produced in St. Lucia, they are VATable. And we truly believe that this was an error because I cannot believe that either government would want to in any way prejudice any of its local manufacturers. The amendment also sought to exempt value-added tax on imports of personal items, food, clothing, toys and other household commodities contained in barrels from November 15, 2019 to January 31, 2020. The concessions on barrels are in accordance with the following terms and conditions. 100% waiver of import duty on personal items, food, clothing, toys, and other household consumables contained in barrels. Electronics are explicitly excluded. The number of barrels qualifying for concessions is two per household. The upper limit of the value per barrel is EC $2,500 per barrel on the items qualifying for concessions. Qualifying items must be for personal use and not commercial use. The usual penalties and fines apply if the goods are used for commercial purposes. As is customary, the appropriate legal instrument is being tabled in this House, Honorable House, to allow for the exemption of value-added tax on all qualifying items, food, clothing, toys, household consumables, personal items, imported within the barrels during this period. And that was Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shastney. The Department of External Affairs has donated a check of 30,000 EC dollars to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. The donations were made in support of the Marine Unit, with funding raised at a gala dinner held in Martinique on December 13, 2018. Johanna Sultan is the Consul General for Martinique, Guadeloupe, and French Guiana. The police, especially, played a very or plays a very important role in the protection of borders especially when it comes to Martinique and St. Lucia. I mean we all know that a lot of contraband comes up from South America and St. Lucia is really the first border and so in protecting her borders she indirectly protects those of Martinique and those further the islands further to the north. So it was really important for us to assist the police and in assisting them we would also be assisting Martinique. So um, it was really easy to sell the idea to the French. They, they understood exactly where we were coming from, and we received a lot of support. Deputy Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy expressed gratitude on behalf of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force for the donation towards the Marine Unit. When I was told that the Marine Unit would be receiving um, this donation, I was very pleased. 
um, simply because I, I know about the marine unit. I worked there and I know what resources are needed for us to be in operation. And um, persons may not know, but it costs a lot to maintain the marine unit. Um, even in terms of the fueling, sometimes you have the fuel, you do not have the, the, pa the parts and so on. So um, we appreciate this gift of $30,000. It will go a long way in assisting us in putting our equipment together so that we could be out there to fight transnational crime. The check presentation took place on Wednesday, October 30th, 2019. And this is the NTN Nightly. Do stay with us. What's in the food you're eating? Do you really even know? All the chemicals and hormones used to accelerate their growth. All the artificial flavoring, sweeteners and colors too. We consume and we don't spare a thought for the damage that they'll do. The that no, they do. think about the children. Think about the children. How will we save them? Chemicals and GMOs are not the solution. Use organic and join. Excessive agrochemical use, additives, and genetically modified foods are harmful to health and the environment. Join the good food revolution. Grow, buy, and consume organic. A message from Rye St. Lucia and the Ministry of Sustainable Development with funding from the GEF Small Grants Program, UNDP. The good food Welcome back. Ryan O'Brien is out on assignment, but at this time, we note the participation of the youth in Creole Heritage Month. The incorporation of Creole Day celebrations among the youth and members of the private sector this year is indicative of the development of the language and heritage in St. Lucia. Companies were abuzz with activities last Friday, among them Bank of St. Lucia. Bank of St. Lucia, Sufria, VA4, Rosalie, Waterfront and Bridge Street all redefined customer service on Friday by treating customers to an early junior Creole experience they would never forget. Aside from the distinctive Madras decor, the financial institution serenaded customers with traditional folk music and added Creole breakfast to their long list of financial services. According to the Bridge Street branch manager Octavian Charles, as a bank that is primarily rooted in St. Lucian soil, Bank of St. Lucia takes the island's culture and heritage very seriously. Kilte pays a bien important pour back cette lucie because nous sommes back cette lucie avec rien nous a fait pour aider développement kilte a nous qui fait ça nous voulons kilte a été vivant nous qui encourager travailler nous nous qui encourager pratique nous pour participer à des qui qui a développé kilte a et back cette lucie tout est évolué à différentes manières pour promouvoir in observance of Creole Heritage Month, the bank encouraged all its employees to communicate to customers in the island's native language as much as it was possible to do so. We just celebrate Jeanne Creole and all the customers. We have a day where everyone is coming to dance, to eat, 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 to eat. Se customers no ti buy, buy do buy, kini sick on shy sick, buy bix, echo shy acro, echo um, g, di take a cool, no, to le lane no cafesa. The waterfront and Bridge Street branches also feature some of its local customers who sell a variety of locally crafted products in observance of Creole Heritage Month. Charles added that Bank of St. Lucia has partnered with the FRC on several projects and is committed to supporting local. L'ANESA a aussi porté moi, héritage Creole, ensemble et puis la place richesse folklore. Ça nous croit qu'il est Folk Research Center. Nous participer à des activités puis eux, nous supporter eux. Là, tu as aussi ni un jouet pour jeune maman à le filmer quoi dimanche passé, côté nous supporter, nous participer avec nous faire une relation et puis faire pour mener bagaille la bay public là. Journée Creole activities for 2019 took place in the communities of Beausejou, Chozel and Vieux-Fort. Meanwhile, Financial Investment and Consultancy Services Limited Fix also celebrated Journée Creole with its customers and the general public. 
The company opened its doors at both its branches, treating visitors and customers to breakfast and entertainment. Here's Anissi Antoine. As an indigenous institution, FIX prides itself on culture, heritage, loyalty and family, and Junequeol is one of the many events that allows the company to demonstrate how important those values are to them. Every year, FIX joins the rest of Corporate St. Lucia to host its own Junequeol celebrations as a gesture of appreciation to its customers, but more importantly, to keep the island's heritage alive for the younger generations. Roger Williams from Lackley says he was pleasantly surprised when he walked in. Le matou la matou, bien sauté pour moi, c'est qu'à l'été bâle à l'union. Et en bagaille, moi, levé, moi, c'est un garçon qui levé en couillol. Et moi, ouais, dat qui c'est bagaille à l'union, c'est really couillol. Yo, yo, teni bonbon, yo, teni food, yo, teni coco pie, yo, teni en bagaille, moi, kakouye pâté. Moi, really, yon metti bagaille sa la, yo, teni, yo, teni un petit pain, yo, fait, et puis, l'amour, oui, et ça, t'es bien bon. Tout bagaille, c'est des couillol. La teni, dit, t'es kako, juice. Both branches came alive on Friday with Creole folk music, breakfast being served by staff, and the delightful splashes of madras and carefully placed antiquated products across the room. What stood out for some customers, however, wasn't the decor, but the close relationship the company has with its clients. Je suis ici parce que nous sommes en fixe avec les familles. Je suis un jeune monde qui a besoin de l'eau pour acheter mon sauté. Avec les gens qui sont ici, je suis en train de faire des choses. Je suis en train de faire des choses qui sont ouvertes pour moi. Je suis en train de faire des choses pour les familles. Donc, je dis merci à la fixe pour l'eau pour acheter mon sauté pour faire des choses pour les familles. Financial Investment and Consultancy Services Limited was founded by the Honorable George Theophilus, who hails from the community of Choiseul. The company's history is rich in St. Lucian culture, and according to company officials, FIX will forever stay true to its roots, especially as it approaches its 20th year of doing business in St. Lucia. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. And stay with the NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson is here with more Juni Creole celebrations in the NTN Nouvelle or Creole. Everyone is at risk for getting a foodborne illness. While most foodborne illness cases are mild and go unreported, long-term health complications and even death can occur from a foodborne illness. Foodborne illnesses are caused by contamination of food at any stage of preparation. If you are a food handler involved in home-based food production, meat, fish, chicken or a big shop. As a food vendor, how you prepare food can put your customers at risk. Do you know the risks and how to avoid them? The St. Lucia Bureau of Standards can help you. For more information, contact the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards at 456-0546 or email slbs at candw.lc or visit the website at www.slbs.org.lc. St. Lucia Bureau of Standards, making quality and standards our way of life. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle au Creole. Monsieur, Madame, Department of Academic Responsibility for Information and the Government of the GIS, and the National Television National PIA NTN, Capuzzo to Nouvelle au Creole. Capuzzo, Primus Hutchinson. Premier Ministre Honorable Alain Chasney, vous êtes en motion à ce qu'on cite hier mardi qui a offert un grand soulagement pour les gens qui ont payé les taxes de vente. Le Premier ministre Chasney a déclaré que les business qui ont publié le livre et l'autre article d'éducation ont trouvé zéro à la liste de taxes de vente. Ça veut dire qu'ils n'ont pas payé pour payer par un centime. Pour les gens qui ont reçu le barrel de la commission pour Noël, ils ont aussi expérimenté un bon soulagement parce qu'ils n'ont pas payé pour payer le salaire. Et depuis cette commission pour payer, et le jour Noël, à Didei aussi, la pas une pièce de taxe vat pour payer n'importe le yon moun ka aussi ouè barrel commission yo. Le moun opposition aussi supporte moun si yon, magwe yo présente plaisir ti remete à ce sa ki ka konsene yo et vini pou taxe vat. Premier de chasse ne wè fosse pou yon konsene de gwe soulagement ki décision sa la ka y porte 
ou les malheureux, à cette ci qui parle en l'autre façon, vous voyez, dit yo et qui a sur la famille en l'autre pays. Moun ou les gens qui ont trouvé Barrel Commission, qui ont l'avantage de ma sala. On a le premier ministre aussi, encore, c'est parti, et puis la famille de Fégas Pachalmain, qui c'était un indicateur, un sénateur aussi, un maman qui a consulté, qui a tué passé récemment. Le premier ministre a complimenté le gouvernement Taïwan, à l'observance de la journée nationale yo, et la participation de la en observant ça là. Il fait référence particulièrement pour les musiciens internationaux qui sortent de cette liste, Ronald Bohingson et Louvre François, et tous les autres artistes qui étaient performés à Taïwan. Projet pour rebâtir l'hôpital Saint-Jude qui a avancé très rapidement. Projet a été délivré une facilité qui a porté 90 couches pour les maladies qui ont l'hôpital la même pour recevoir le traitement et aussi ça qui a été visité le docteur seulement. Le 28 octobre, plus de 300 tons de style ont déjà préparé pour établir la fondation de l'hôpital. Il y a plus de 60 travailleurs qui employent présentement à ce projet et qui ont pour employer plus toujours comme travail qui a augmenté. Le projet a aussi une charge de neuf pour embrasser tous les services des affaires de l'opération pendant le travail qui a fait pour renforcer ce qui a existé en établissement présentement pour faire assurer que l'hôpital saint jude opéré effectivement et pour aussi opérer en dégoué de l'hôpital qui a facilité le guard 4e. Ce chef de flan a été deux étages qui a été trouvé bâti à son façade gauche côté de qui a été et sorti de l'hôpital Salah. Célébration journée Koyol portée en Bajo Paton comme des habitudes en toutes ces paroisses là qui étaient organisées et aussi en plusieurs communes qui étaient tiennent célébration eux même un village choisi, à ce grand bol la fag, pour que la vive tout le monde. Alors, à nous à présent, pour un petit bout, pour que nous répugnions les patrons, à ce moment-là, ce spectacle là qui est organisé, avec participation. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous avons un village choisi pour le Juné Koyol 2019, avec toute observation et l'étage de Koyol, où nous avons choisi de conduire les vignes pour qualité c'est travail ça la monia madame ici et puis moi quoi dis-nous non s'il vous plaît non moi c'est jean coupe plus mais colette costeri ok à café choisi café choisi dis-nous directement qui ça qui a fait ici à soi dis-nous sur ça moi dis à nous là à nos journées créoles et puis nous ni exhibition nous nous a démontré qui ça nous a fait blâmer nous mais ça va tout travail nous ça fait blâmer nous ça c'est timide et tard ok et ça explique moi nous ça qui a fait là aujourd'hui Jodi après là, nous dis sous qui fait toutes sortes de calés design. Et puis nous, c'est une jeune madame là, là qui a démontré. Choisir, j'ai dit, je ne connais pas plusieurs fois. Um, Dis-nous, quelle qualité est la vente taille pour choisir, je ne connais pas? Moi, je ne connais pas la vente taille, parce que tout le monde travaille là, mais on ne connaît pas ce que c'est qui sort. Et pour chaque autre qui peut voir ce que c'est qui fait, c'est un col. Qu'il te, tu es ici à faire toutes sortes de calde et bagailles, de boublés. Et nous ne pouvons pas y changer, tu es ici à place, c'est pise là. Toutes ces pise là, on a eu là. Place ces pise là, nous disons c'est H là, ça c'est handicap. Ça nous est ici à ce moment, toutes les bagailles qui font en tête. Ce qu'on a eu, nous sommes en tête, nous sommes en tête, nous sommes en tête, nous sommes en tête, Maman, je café, je suis un café, je suis maman je et je suis maman je café, je suis maman je et puis juste un jour je suis un maman je suis un café, je suis café, je suis un 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 Oui, et puis ni de qualité je suis un café, je suis un café, je suis un café, je suis un café, je si pas ça, il y a cassé. Bon, tout le réseau, nous ouvert pour ouvert business là, pour ouvert agricole. So nous avons fait tout spécialement par maman l'école. Pour la quantité web, c'est mon café de soin, café web. Parce que c'est ça qui vient de l'école. C'est diverses ça, on est là pour assurer l'exhibition. Dis-nous qui est ce qu'on va faire. Nous avons fait ça, on est soulié, on est. Je suis un chai bel hâte, je suis un bébé soude, je suis tout bail bail ces madame là, on est bail bail ces missiers, on a fait tout un projet, mais il y a un missier qui a exposé, 
Because you need to put the bag and expose the film for me. To buy and expose. Oh, um, what kind of thing do you want to do with this bag? I want to do it with this bag. 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 Those <laughs> Il était quand résident la fac, il était marié avec madame qui a pris Feta. Feta c'était juste mon bébé qui était fait la rose. Sous sous qui a changé la rose mon bébé. Oui oui oui. So là mon roi sax là. Il était quand joue, il était quand jouer en dedans cabaret mon bébé. So moi dit est-ce pas nous pour vendre moi il dit moi oui, il est premier sax lui. Moi il pour vendre devant moi. So il vend sax là devant moi. C'est comme ça moi fait jouer sax là la main oh. Oh, nous ni quoi que là qui est-ce que ça pour tout à fait ici au dia ou ça dit nous non avant non moi c'est Darion Louis sort la fac choisi moi faut just about 10 minutes from fil la boisa OK nous ça vous quand on va wet by wet dans l'eau aujourd'hui a mais dis nous généralement mon va la capable ça choisir ba la capable c'est bien de bout en ciseau bon matin mon commencer venir là c'est fichement là t'es là c'est crafters là t'es là c'est mon là qui enjoy quoi c'est chaitan choisir pour qu'on a bail grand comme on a sorti from one pays à pour venir choisir as main location so hodi a nous really really enjoy ça hodi là et ça on va dire on aime à choisir qui garder du meilleur qui pièce l'autre côté gagner well point bail là c'est c'est Kaila c'est Kaila fait différent nous pas pièce ten c'est natural bambou l'autre bail là c'est un chai local artiste qui a performé hodi là et nous ni Deban Dominic WCK et Midnight Groovers qui a performé ça a lot by is a shy interactive craft car Leon or the basket weaving I'm where I'm se bougla te ka fe se pot la se fishing pot la so la dena shy by ki ka gain tout qualité attention se moun la ka vini se or the la dena yon shy moun nou tenu pou ale de ek mande nou mande yo pou supporter nou bis ou sav pou fe an bay kon sa se lajan mais choisir nous on chai moun qui compte choisir on chai chai moun et quand chai c'est baila nous joindre jodia on chai moun aider yo ban nou baila pli bon marché et ben yo just nou nou ka fay ban nou piste choisir so on chai moun ban nou support supporter et nous rel rel oui mais c'est toutes ces moun là et c'est yo bay ces moun là savent choisir il est parler pour kilté choisir c'est en place où ça venir amuser quoi et quand on voit après midi c'est pas juste en bloco la ni moun ka fè wè manye yo ka fè nas la ni moun ka fè wè manye yo ka chè chèz la ni moun ka sié bois la ni jan ki tout kal de bay yo ka wè après midi a so tout moun après midi a ka rel 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 enjoy sa yo ka kwi kil di simple ici c'est comme ça y est yo moun di men yo vle en request yo di men yo vle wè men danser toi est-ce que vous voulez vous mettre dans cette tour Plus tard, plus tard, vous allez voir ça. Pour tout le monde, pour tout le monde, nous avons ces mecs battus. Je vais y aller, oui, et je vais y aller, oui, et vous allez bien, oui. Si vous avez passé passer en choisir pour entrer en finissement du programme, nous, les bras sur un t-shirt tout bonnement, dans l'autre programme, nous avons une situation qui a été passée en vie fort. C'est comme ça que nous avons une nouvelle là. Nous avons remercié autant pour garder. Nous avons une invitation pour jouer depuis moi encore. Si tu es conservé la vie, nous avons présenté l'autre nouvelle à Coyol. À présent, nous avons présenté au Michel. Merci au Pil Primus. Et here's a look at what's happening to us weather-wise. Partly cloudy to cloudy skies with scattered showers and possibly isolated thunderstorms across the Windward Islands. Elsewhere, fair skies becoming cloudy at times with a few showers. Moisture and instability associated with a shear line will generate cloudy periods with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms mainly over the Windward Islands during the next 24 hours. 
residents and motorists in areas prone to flooding or landslide are advised to exercise caution. A tropical wave located over the central tropical Atlantic is moving westward near 12 miles per hour or 19 kilometers per hour and is expected to affect the Lesser Antilles by Friday. A second tropical wave located over the central tropical Atlantic is moving westward near 12 miles per hour or 19 kilometers per hour. Tides for Castries Harbour high at 4.46 p.m., low at 11.39 p.m. Tides for Viewford Bay, low at present, high at 5.53 p.m. Seas moderate to locally rough with waves and northerly to northeasterly swells 5 to 8 feet or 1.5 to 2.4 meters. Small craft operators and sea bathers are advised to exercise caution due to rough seas. The sun will rise Thursday at 5.58 a.m. And that brings us to the end of the NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I'm Nisha Charles.